What's up everybody? Welcome back to a new video. Today's video will be a little bit different as I will be making a I will be ranking every single park that I've been to in uh, the good old tier maker in this video. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is well there are two main reasons. One, it is December, so the off season is coming uh, it, it's it's approaching, so therefore I will have uh, less videos to record. Mo you know, mostly vlogs of person and everything. But I also want to show you guys, you see, like, I started YouTube back in 2022. And, uh, well, I should say I started uploading to YouTube back in 2022. And so, by, by I... But before that, I've visited, like, so many other parks. So, like, I also just... I want to show you guys, like, every single park that I've been to. I will mention, despite the amount of credits that I have, I have... I'm getting close to 200 coaster credits. And despite how many parks I've been to, surprisingly, it's not... I haven't been to a whole lot of parks. So, uh, just keep that in mind when I am... Um, and some of these parks I haven't been to in a long time. So, keep that in mind while I am ranking these parks. So this should be a lot of fun, I think, and hopefully I can do something like this where I get to rank uh, every single coaster that I've been to as well. Uh, I, I definitely think that would be a little bit more difficult, but I think it is doable. So with that being said, I'm going to get started. Uh, the first one here is, oh, and also, uh, I don't think this will be the case, but if there is by any chance that I forgot to... Uh, upload a photo of a park on here, then I will just I will just think of a place where I would want to rank it. So that being said, I will start with our first one here, and this is Lake Mont Park. Uh, Lake Mont Park, I'm going to put into uh, I'll put into uh, I'll put it into C tier. Uh, it's not that I dislike Lake Park. I actually really do, but it is definitely a park that has uh, has a lot of history, obviously. So I I I do really love this park, uh, especially with Leap the Depths and Skyliner. Uh, but it has had a bit of a uh, rough history. It has struggled financially over time, and it's just it's able to. Hmm, you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up because. I'm going to put it into B tier because, like, yes, it has struggled financially, and it's not like, you know, it, it's not like the greatest theme park experience of all time. But you know what? There are they, – they are really trying to be uh, – they are really trying to keep that place alive, and that's why I think B tier is more of an appropriate spot for it. But I do really love this park a lot. Next up is California Adventure. Uh, haven't been to this park in 13 years, but I'm going to put it into D tier, uh, just because I really don't think this is probably the worst Disney park I've been to. It doesn't make sense at all. Uh, the whole concept of theming a park in California, theming a park to California and California just doesn't flow at all. Uh, I think, and it is the park doesn't feel like a Disney park it has great thrill rides. Like I remember riding tower of terror and, uh, surprisingly haven't been on a, uh, uh, California Screaming, which is now the Incredicoaster, so, uh, but, yeah, other than that, it just has some, just has a lot of things to work on, uh, and it does have potential, I can tell that Disney has really been stepping up a lot with that park, uh, especially with Cars Land, uh, but, like, other than that, like, even their most, some of their most recent additions, like, Pixar Pier and Avengers Campus, it's just, yeah, why? Belmont Park. Uh, once again, this is a park that I haven't been to in a long time. I actually went to a California Adventure and Belmont Park during the same trip, but this is a very nice boardwalk park, and it has the Giant Dipper, so, uh, I'm going to put it into B tier. Uh, not, not an amazing park, but you know what? It is a very nice historic boardwalk park, so I think that is, uh, uh, I, I think it is definitely worth checking out. Dollywood. Uh, I think you guys know where this is going. Uh, it's going to S tier. This is a fantastic park. Almost for a while, this was actually my favorite park. Uh, just I haven't been to Silver Dollar City yet, uh, but Dollywood alone makes me want to experience what it's like going to Silver Dollar City. I mean, Lightning Rod, even though it's had its issues, I mean it's still a fantastic ride. Um, uh, the rest of their coaster lineup is very strong too. Tennessee Tornado, Thunderhead, Mystery Mine. 
everything else. Uh, the theme park, the, the experience overall is just great. The theming is wonderful. And a uh, really nice guest experience, too. It's a beautiful park. So, yes, it absolutely belongs in S tier. Uh, Islands of Adventure, this is going in S tier as well. I uh, haven't been to this park in 2013, but this really is a fantastic park. Uh, but because I haven't been there so long, uh, it's I can't really remember too much from it. However, uh, just knowing what I know from what the park is like and for what I remember specifically with Harry Potter, I think this does belong in S tier. Uh, now the next Universal Studios Park in Florida, I would say an A tier. Still a great park, a really good theme park, but it's just Islands of Adventure is better. Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. Hmm. Animal Kingdom. Uh, I want to say, you know what? I'm going to put it in S tier. This is my favorite Disney park. It's, uh... It is truly, it is a truly massive, immersive experience. Uh, I haven't experienced Pandora yet, but I just, that's on my bucket list of things I want to do. Oh, Expedition Everest is fantastic. I love that coaster. And it's just, it's so different from your average Disney park. It's so, yeah, I'm going to put it up there. Now, Hollywood Studios, on the other hand, uh, you know what? Ah, uh, C tier, C tier. It's just above California Adventure for me, but um, and yeah, I mean they have Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, Toy Story Land, uh, Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, uh, Mickey Minis, but it's just still probably the weakest of the Walt Disney World parks in my opinion. Epcot. So Epcot, I'm going to put into I'm going to put it into A tier because well. Originally, I, I used to think uh, Epcot was probably my least favorite Disney park. However, as I've grown older, it has, Epcot has, re I've really realized like how amazing Epcot is. So, uh, I think, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, I'm still, uh, I, I kind of have a cold right now, just getting over that. Um, but yeah, Epcot's fantastic. They're just and it's even better now that they have Guardians, so I can't wait to uh, go back there eventually and experience that. I just feel like they're they're still missing a few things, in my opinion. Magic Kingdom. Uh, I really want to put Magic Kingdom higher, but I am going to put it in B tier. I personally think Magic Kingdom is overrated. Uh, I love the classic rides there, like the Haunted Mansion, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, uh, Space Mountain, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Splash Mountain, too, before that closed. But it's just, it is so crowded there every single time that I go. I just, uh, I mean, I understand. I understand it is the most visited park in America. But it's just, uh, every time I go to Magic Kingdom, I'm just, I just feel so stressed out about long lines and getting through the huge crowd of people everywhere I go. So that's why I'm putting it into B tier. I still like Magic Kingdom, but I just think it is overrated. Maurice Piers is one of my favorite. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna put it right there. Maurice Piers is one of my favorite boardwalk parks of all time. Uh really good coaster lineup for a park on the uh uh on the sea. Uh on the, by the seashore. Uh, my only main problem is is that it is really expensive. So uh, if you're planning on a trip to Maurice Pierce, keep that in mind. It's also unique how it's one park that is divided into three separate piers. Uh, not to mention that they have uh, easily the best Vekoma SLC that uh, uh, that exists in the world. So, but yeah, they have a and great white and uh there are other coasters there are pretty fun as well so they have a lot going for them uh the dark rides even i only got to do the roller coasters but i know their dark rides and flat rides are pretty good as well uh jillian's wonderland pier in ocean city new jersey i'm sorry i gotta put it into c tier um if it were up to me i'd probably put it in d tier however i cannot do that because i really do love this park so much i've been going to this park as a kid uh so i have a soft spot for it but it's just it's it's a park that is in really bad condition right now. Uh, and, I, I mean, it's just... There there was a time where they were struggling for money and the uh, park owner actually had to take a loan out to keep, make sure that the park was operating. Uh, 
and just it seems like a lot of things haven't received like as much a uh, TLC as they should be frequently receiving. So I'm just yeah, and they keep removing some of their most popular rides. Like I remember the uh, the runway, the Intamin uh, Mine Train that they used to have that was removed uh, several years back. Uh, recently, they removed their Larson, Larson Drop Tower. So I just there's not besides the log flume their carousel, uh, and the iconic Ferris wheel, plus a few other notable things, uh, the haunted house, there's really, uh, there's really not much left for them, I feel like, in my opinion, and it's just such a shame, because I love that park, uh, Playland, Playland's Castaway Cove, also in New Jersey, uh, I'm gonna put it into, uh, in terms of boardwalk parks, I'm going to put it into A tier because they have a lot of rides packed into uh, a very small amount of space. And they, for a very small park, they have a really good uh, roller coaster line too. Gale Force is definitely the signature attraction. One of the most underrated coasters I've been on, in my opinion. Uh, and that alone is worth going to uh, uh, Pl Playland's Castaway Cove. Tons of great flat rides too. Hershey Park. You know what? I'm going to go with S tier. Uh, it's a place where I work. I absolutely love Hershey Park. Um, and uh, I, I've, it's like a, it's my, it's my second home park. It's like my home away from home. Uh, fantastic roller coaster lineup. I've loved every single person I worked with there. Um, so it, it was just a really nice experience to not only visit the park, but work there as well. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's uh, it's really one of the best theme parks that, uh, that is in the country that is worth visiting. So uh, Dutch Wonderland is going to go into A tier because, uh, mm, well, no, I'll put it in B tier just simply because it's a kid's park. Uh, I, I do really like this park. It is, it is very, it is very charming. Uh, and surprisingly a decent, uh, uh, lineup of coasters for a kids park. Uh, I would actually say two of three of their coasters are more family coasters than kids coasters. So, uh, but yeah, it's just an overall uh, well-run, nice family destination. So the only reason why I'm putting it into B tier and not an A tier is because just simply because it's meant for kids. So I will put it there. Disneyland, I'm going to put it in S tier. Uh, once again, haven't been to this park in a long time, but come on, it's the original Disney park. It's like, it's the epitome of theme parks. So what, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, <clears throat> Kima Boardwalk. Yes, surprisingly, I have been to a park in Texas, but I do not remember anything besides the, uh, besides riding the train. So, uh, but yeah, I'll put it in seats here. I mean. It's like, I don't know. I think it's kind of unfair for me. It is a little bit unfair for me to rank parks that, like, I don't really remember. But, like, I really, I do want to give, like, a review, an accurate review of these parks as much as possible. Uh, so, for this, uh, they do have Boardwalk Bullet. I didn't ride it, but, like, that is uh, it's the signature ride there by Gravity Group and uh, a few other things. I just, based on the looks of it, though, they are missing some things that I think, yeah, could be, uh, it could be a little bit better. Uh, uh, Del Grosso's I'll put into, uh, put into B tier. Same reason for Dutch Wonderland, just because it's mainly a, uh, mostly a kid's park. Um, although it does have some good thrill rides, uh, uh, fantastic feud as well, but I, I do really love Del Grosso's. It's just, you know, with uh, putting it up there with like Universal Studios and what, like Epcot and everything, like it just, I feel like that's more, a uh, more accurate. Uh, Darien Lake, I'm gonna put into, yeah, I'll put into C tier. They do have a lot going for them. I, I wasn't mind blown by Darien Lake, but you know what? It is a solid little park. It's just, it's an average amusement park. That's, that's all I'll say. Not necessarily bad, but uh, definitely. Uh, you know, just an amusement park. That's all. I mean, Ride of Steel. They got the coasters. They got the flat rides. They got the food, games, everything. So, you know, just just, just a park, you know? That's all I'll say. Oh, Six Flags America. For the record, I don't hate this park, but I will put it in D tier. 
um, for now because uh, <coughs> that park is has definitely been uh, a little bit run down. No, I'll put it into C tier. No, I'll put it into C tier instead. Uh, but that park has been... Uh, when thinking about the Six Flags parks, that park has definitely been towards the bottom of most people's list. And it's not that bad, but it's definitely... It's it's very similar to Darien Lake, where it's just an average amusement park. With that being said, though, there are some places where it can definitely use some TLC. Looking at you, Whistle Stop Park, or I should say where Whistle Park Stop Whistle Park Stop used to be. Whistle Stop Park used to be. And it's just an empty uh, plot of land now. So that and just I, I, I think I think if uh, certain areas of the park just got refreshed. I think that would make it uh, more appealing. And I know they've already started doing that now with the new steampunk area that's coming next year. So it's great to see that they are <coughs> that they are moving forward with plans to uh, make it a better park experience. So uh, what is this? I think this is uh, that's supposed to be Cedar Point. So Cedar Point. Uh, I'm, I apologize that, that cut, that's cut off, but I promise you that is Cedar Point. Cedar Point, S tier, obviously, literally one of the best parks in the world. It's the coaster capital in the world. I know Magic Mountain has more coasters than Cedar Point, but you got to admit that Cedar Point definitely has more world-class coasters, and almost every single one of them that they built have been record breakers. But like even outside of the coasters, I mean, it is definitely uh, it is a fantastic experience. Uh, it, is, it is a great summer resort to go to it's just yeah you i've some days i'll admit some days have been stressful at cedar point for me but like you gotta admit that this is just a really phenomenal park uh dorney park i'm going to put in b tier because uh i do i love dorney like it's such an underrated park uh it gets it gets a lot of hate it really does and i really don't understand why when their coaster lineup is actually pretty solid and they have great flat rides uh definitely some charm to to uh <clears throat> the park definitely has a lot of charm going for it as well so i really i, I really i really love doherty a lot um and i'm not over exaggerating when i say that i do really think that this is a nice park and i always have a great time whenever i go there um even though i've only been there a handful of times uh carowinds i'm going to put into a tier uh because i wasn't uh yeah, Car Carowinds is a pretty great park, but uh, some some areas, uh, some things I wasn't like super blown away with. Uh, their operations were definitely kind of a uh, hit or miss on some of the attractions. Uh, like for example, on Fury and Copperhead, they were moving those trains pretty quick, but on uh, let's just say Vortex, uh, that those operations were kind of on the slower side. And even on uh, their boomerang as well. Uh, that, and I think after uh, their top four, I think the coaster lineup kind of uh, drops down a little bit. Not necessarily that they have uh, bad roller coasters, except for, well, I mean, Kitty Hawk is not that great. And I haven't been on Nighthawk yet, but uh, Hurler is pretty bad too. But uh, but it's just like they they need they need something in between uh like the four main standout coasters and the uh, uh, and some of the lesser standout coasters, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, that's just, but other than that, it is a fantastic Cedar Fair Park, or I guess I can call it a Six Flags Park now. Kings Island, I think you all know where this is going. This is my favorite park of all time. It's going to S tier. Great roller coasters, awesome food, awesome holiday events. I potentially might be going to Winterfest this year, but we'll see about that. Um, operations are great. I've had uh, fantastic interactions with the employees and, you know, those night rides. Oh, those are fantastic night rides. Uh, so, yeah, there's just there, – there's so much to love about this park. And it has so much history, too. So – King's Dominion is going into, oh, where do I want to put A or B? A or, I'll put it in A tier, along with Carowinds. 
<laughs> uh, King's Dominion is it, it's a I, it's a wonderful park. It is really truly a lovely park. Um, with uh, uh, I do with really good roller coasters, uh, Twisted Timbers, Dominator, uh, uh, I three hundred five. Even Anaconda is really good as well. I I do. I do really like all their roller coasters. Uh, I do. I also like uh, how they've been uh, updating many areas of the park too. Jungle Expedition looks great. Uh, uh, several years back, several years back for the 40th anniversary, they uh, brought back and refurbished uh, Candy Apple Grove, so that looks fantastic too. Uh, and uh, the only reason why I am not putting it into S tier is because there are still some things at King's Dominion that I think are outdated. And I'm talking about the uh, the parking lot, like especially with the parking tool, they need to update that badly. Uh, the front entrance is in, is in dire need of an upgrade, not just because of its uh, look. I mean, yes, that needs an update. <laughs> uh, that the the look of the park entrance needs updated too. Not I'm not talking about International Street. I'm talking about where you like actually go through security and enter the park. That needs updated. But it's also like like the system needs updated too. I mean like they're still uh, they still have to like physically check your bag and everything. Whereas parks like are upgrading to scanless security systems. I think that should be uh, updated. And they need more. Um, they they need more. What do you call them? Uh, uh, they need they need more uh, they need more turnstiles to get into the park too. They they are a little bit limited on that as well. Uh, but yeah, I do love King's Dominion. Uh, Bush Gardens Williamsburg is going into S tier. Oh, and one more thing about King's Dominion, just like Carowinds, their operations can be kind of hit or miss sometimes, in my opinion. But yeah, it is it is a great park. Busch Gardens Williamsburg is going into S tier. Uh, such a beautiful park. Great employees. Great atmosphere. Great rides. I really don't have anything to say about Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Uh, it can be a little bit confusing to get around, but like if that's my only complaint, then I would say Busch Gardens is honestly a fantastic park. Uh, great Adventure is going into A tier because of the fact that it has great roller coasters. Mostly, I mean, King Nika, El Toro, um, uh, Batman, uh, and, you know, pretty much all the roller coasters are good, in my opinion. Uh, and, you know, of course, it has the Safari Off-Road Adventure. That's a great addition to uh, this park. Um, uh, really good flat rides uh, and some good dark rides, too. But it's still a Six Flags park. Some areas of the park need updated more than others. And it's just, yeah... Yeah, definitely has that, you know, kind of Six Flags atmosphere with, you know, DC and Looney Tunes and everything. But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, but other than that, I do like Great Adventure. Sesame Place is, phew, I haven't been to this park in a long, 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 long time. Uh, but I'm going to put it into, uh, again, just simply out of the context that it's a kid's park, I'll put it into B tier. Uh, because they, I mean... It's a very popular park for the kids, and it's a very well-run park, too. Uh, I mean, uh, just like Del Gr uh, Dutch Wonderland, I would say that their uh, two coasters there are actually more family coasters than they are kids' coasters by the looks of it. Um, I have not, I don't have the credit on those, though, so I will have to go out there and ride them eventually. With that being said, uh, if you can, try to find a way to avoid uh, the price of the tickets because I think one full day admission ticket there is like $80. So like if you can find uh, discounted tickets anywhere, then I highly recommend that. Um, I would personally not put, pay $80 just to go there. But, um, but yeah, other than that, they do, it is a very popular kids park. And out of the context of simply that, I think I would like to, I think that would be an appropriate spot to rank it. Ah, uh, Connie, I like Park. This is just... <sighs> I really want to put this park higher. 
That's why it pains me to put it into D tier. This park used to be, from what I see uh, and from what I've heard, this park used to be a really nice, charming park. Until the year that uh, their new owner started to take over. And ever since then, it has gone downhill so much. Um, you see, the removal of the tumble bug was one thing. Uh, still very sad, but it was it was one thing. Then they got rid of the Blue Streak roller coaster. And that's when... That's really, really when the heart and soul of this park went downhill. And I was... I Unfortunately, I never got the chance to get the credit on Blue Streak. Um, my first time there was in 2021. Um, and it's just... That was during the time of when just things... <coughs> of when things started changing there. Um, and I was definitely able to tell... Um, it was just a really depressing uh, park experience, uh, but I was even I was lucky enough to go when uh, most of those rides were still there. Uh, thankfully, thankfully some of them are still there, like the carousel, uh, the carousel, Devil's Den, but only a handful of rides are still actually operating in the park. So it's just, uh, yeah. I just really wish I got to experience the park in what, during its glory days. Uh, but unfortunately the park experience I had is when just were, times were different for this park. And, uh, uh, the new owner, it's just, uh, the new owner just changed everything. So yeah. Okay. Waldemir. So I'm going to put Waldemir in a tier because I've never had a bad time at this park. Uh, it is for a smaller park, has really good roller coasters, really good family rides, really good thrill rides, um, a really nice water park, and I like how the setting is nice with how it's right next to, uh, Lake Erie, so, and Ravine Flyer 2, you can't go wrong with that wooden roller coaster, so, uh, classic dark rides, too, especially with Wacky Shack and, uh, Pirate's Cove, so, uh, yeah, really like this park. Knobles is going into S tier. There is nothing wrong with this. Uh, I've never had a bad experience at Knobles. Literally nothing. So uh, it's a great park for families. Uh, lots of things to do. It is a resort campground. Uh, and uh, ha definitely has some of the best and some of the most unique wooden roller coasters in the world. So there, there's just so much to do here. And this park has won so many golden ticket awards. Best food, best carousel. Uh, best wooden roller coaster, uh, and yeah, it's just, it's just, Knobles just, what can I say, Knobles just wins at everything, I absolutely love this park, uh, now we're down to the last two, what is this, okay, I don't know what that is, but now we're down to the last two, uh, Idlewild and Soak Zone, uh, B tier, B tier because Idlewild is a nice little park, and once again, it's just out of um, the context of it being a kids park. I think it is. It has a lot going for it. Uh, I mean, two. Once again, two roller coasters that I would say are more family coasters. Uh, roller coaster Wild Mouse, and that Wild Mouse is arguably the best Wild Mouse coaster I've ever been on. Uh, some nice family rides. The tons of kids kids rides. And um, even some unique attractions, too. Uh, Storybook Forest is a highlight of Idlewild. Um, and uh, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. Uh, what's the, what's it called? Uh, uh, Confusion Hill is a, uh, is a uh, cool little walkthrough as well. Uh, it's a beautiful park with lots of trees, uh, lots of scenery. Uh, a nice little water park, too. I just think, <coughs> I just think that, uh, this park needs more new rides. It, it seems like in recent years they've been removing rides more frequently than they've been adding. Um, the loss of the whip, the caterpillar, and the Ferris wheel that they used to have in years past were uh, definitely big uh, losses for the park. Uh, and I don't think I don't think they really received a new ride since 2016, which I believe 
was a recycled teacup ride that was uh, that used to be at Geauga Lake. So uh, they're 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 definitely in need of a new ride. And overall, just some touch ups here and there. But Idlewild is a nice park, and uh, and uh, I've been there in a few years. But you know what? I would have loved to return to Idlewild. All right, our last park. Just simply because it is my home park. I should I be biased or should I be fair? Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna be biased. I'm gonna put Kennywood into S tier just because it is my home park. I know I'm completely biased about it, um, but you gotta understand. I've been going to this park ever since I was a kid. It was the first amusement park that I visited. I've been going literally every single year of my life. I've never missed a year of going to Kennywood, um, and it's just. I mean, there's a reason why my YouTube channel is called Kennywood Krieger and that most of my videos just so happen to be featured at Kennywood. So there's just, uh, I have so many memories from this park. Um, if it wasn't for Kennywood, I would not be the uh, roller coaster addict that I am today and just going to all these different places uh, and, uh, and vlogging every single theme park experience I have. Uh, so, yeah, just... I have so much love for this park, and yeah, you guys have no idea. Uh, but from a non-biased perspective, uh, I understand that Kennywood is not perfect. Uh, however, considering that they have a pretty decent coaster lineup, and Phantom's Revenge is Phantom's Revenge is definitely one of the best coasters in the world that I've been on. Uh, Steel Curtain, I understand that it's had its problems over the years. However, you got to commend Kennywood and uh, Palace Entertainment for doing literally as much as I can to keep that ride running. Uh, Steel Curtain is uh, the the uh, the crowd pleaser of the park, and it's the uh, the signature record breaker. Uh, uh, Sky Rocket is a nice complimentary uh, launch coaster, which is something that Kennywood didn't have for a long time. Uh, they have three classic wooden roller coasters that are all Ace Landmarks. Uh, Exterminator is a uh, cool family coaster with some uh, nice theming. And, you know, just Little Phantom is a kid's coaster. Every park needs to have a kid's coaster. Uh, the Fly Ride lineup is good. It's a little bit weird, but it is good. Uh, they have a mix of a lot of uh, modern flat rides, but also old flat rides that you don't, you can't really find anywhere else. Um, like, for example, they have a Scream and Swing and a uh, Tumble Bug. So uh, it, is, it is a really nice Fly Ride lineup. I do think... Personally, that my home park is missing a couple of flat rides I would like to see. Um, pretty common, standard flat rides that you can find at most parks like tilt a whirl uh, Scrambler, a Ferris wheel, uh, even a Drop Tower too. So I, I would like to see some. I would like to see some of those come in the future to this park. But it is still. Uh, other than that, it is still a night. It is still a decent flat ride lineup. Um, uh, the food is pretty nice. I do like how, I mean, the potato patch is a staple, obviously. Uh, uh, the Parkside Cafe it has, has some really nice food as well, and it's one of the oldest buildings in the park. Uh, I do like how Kennywood is still one of the only parks in the world where you can uh, bring in your own picnic. And uh, for those, in case you didn't know, because I do not vlog my experience by you know, going to the picnic areas of Kennywood very much. Kennywood actually does have uh, picnic pavilions that you can use. Um, just simply if you want to bring in your own food or for catered events as well. Uh, operations are operations are uh, pretty decent at this park as well. So, uh, yeah, and it's just there's so much history behind this park that uh, that I know of. So, oh, what else? can I say? Uh, yeah, I just, I never have a bad time at Kennywood. I love visiting this park every single time I go. And of, of, of course I have the most to say about Kennywood because this is my home park. It's pretty much who I am. So, uh, but yeah, uh, and their seasonal events are great as well. I mean, holiday lights and Phantom Fright Nights are, are staples of Kennywood. Uh, their dark ride collection is great as well. Uh, and 
uh, what, what else can I say? I love Kennywood. Uh, but yeah, that is all, those are all the parks that I've been to. I, so like, even when I was going through this, I was also kind of shocked that I have not been to more, uh, it is definitely kind of surprising. Yeah, I'm surprised that these are all the parks I've been to. But with that being said, I am always visiting new parks every single year. And uh, I won't say exactly where yet because like things are still up in the air. But I am looking to go to uh, some more new parks next year as well. And uh, and pick, hopefully pick up some new credits there as, to those new parks as well. But... With that being said, that is going to do for this video. I will, uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, I think I would like to make a tier list of all the coasters that I've been on, as difficult as that might sound. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's really, that might be way too stressful for me to do, so maybe I won't do that. But uh, I would like to, if I can, find, uh, I, I would like to make a video of, ranking of my roller coaster somehow i just need to figure out how but yeah that's gonna do it for this video thank you all so much for uh, tuning in and we'll see you next time